Well, good afternoon. Uh, I guess good evening, friends. It's good evening. Uh, welcome back to Brook Street. Things are looking very different down here, for sure. Uh, we got all this rock and this new outflowing pipe. So this part is all a Department of Public Works project. I was speaking with those guys when they were down here, and the project manager gave me a great description of what's going on. There's a huge outflowing four-foot pipe that runs underground over there that got crushed underneath this landslide, and its outflow blockage uh, blocked. And so the creek that arises alongside Brook Street and then comes down was filling up the area where the poop lagoon is not being able to draw off because the pipe was crushed and then flowing into the sewage system uh supposedly the poop lagoon has been a like 1920s era kind of dry operations it should be dry if there's extra extra water in the system it might fill up a little bit but then it should drain back down. But if it's been stopped up, it won't do that. Instead, water will flow in, permanently keep the sewage system kind of full of water down here, the little 18 inch pipe. Oh right, I found out there's an 18 inch pipe that hasn't been blocked, that is draining the sewer system. It just has been inappropriately connected to this whole poop lagoon and the poop lagoon hasn't been draining. But now supposedly it's draining. So this guy now would drain any excess overflow down into the creek and <clears throat> as we walk over here we get back to Brook Street itself and we pass this big boy and it's gonna get a little loud there's like a big diesel engine pumping fluids out that PSA needs to address, certainly. So DPW had this half of the project and has always had this half for the six years that this has been busted. And they built this little wall, but as you can kind of see from this side, there's this drain that is old. That, that's that four-foot drain that used to get clogged up, or it was clogged up. When it was clear, it would drain this if it ever overflowed over the wall. But when it was backed up, the whole thing filled up, and it would just drain off. Also, this had been entirely filled in with the ground. But as you can see... That's something nasty flowing straight out and this is still draining I guess these things are supposed to go backwards but I don't know PWSA won't release any information to the public about what is happening here but they do have a big pump running from here to just permanently suck this water up drop it down there into that manhole. And so then this goes down this 18 inch pipe, which goes all the way out. So I don't know what they're gonna do. And they haven't told anybody. The city doesn't know, you know. And it just seems like they've known about this for six years and they just won't even talk about how it's gonna change or get fixed or repaired. They just set up equipment and walk away. And that's pretty frustrating. So, PWSA, I hope you're able to inform all the folks who live around here what this is and how long it's gonna go on. Uh, because right now it's just some weird equipment and 
I really, I don't know what this is for, except that it still smells weird and that happens. Little burps. So, you know, let us know what's up. Well, friends, good afternoon. Whither goes the poop lagoon? This was all water once. <laughs> Filling all the way up, and now there's just these streams going on. So, we still don't have any information from PWSA. They just have not really told anybody anything. I don't know where this comes from. It does seem to be making noise. The water that, well, it's a little hard to tell if there's water coming out of it. That is the natural stream that arises from that hillside up here and comes on down. The cemetery is up on this side, uh, but there are some houses up along Brook Street and then those backyards come and make this nice little rivulet of water right there. But it seems like most of the flow is here. And that smells pretty bad. You can see that it's discolored. It's got that same kind of horrible poop smell that has been the bad smell this whole time. Very strange. So walking over here. Oh, okay. I thought that that sound of running water was coming out of this, but it's not. It was the reflected sound coming out of here. <coughs> of that water splashing out on the far side, which we'll go look at in a second. So, what is this that's flowing here? Because whatever it is, it flows from here over, let me zoom out, through the lagoon, I guess the chute, the poop chute, that sounds terrible, we gotta figure out a better name, the river of poop, also bad, the poop, poop creek, shit creek, shit creek is pretty good. Shit Creek is what Councilman Coghill's office called this spot. So maybe Shit Creek. But in any case, the flow goes here, comes down. Many rivers merge. And this newly installed pipe comes over here. And I think some of these stones were down here because they were protecting the cars from driving too close to the end of the street. And so it's interesting to see that they're sort of memorialized as part of this enormous riprap. So this is the kind of modern engineering of a permanent outflow pipes. These metal pipes are supposed to last longer than the uh, rustable cement, or not cement, steel uh, pipes that you might make instead. And uh, there's a sort of gravel bridge that keeps all the weight off of the pipe, and that goes all the way back. You can see they've kind of poured more gravel over the top of it. And then the rocks are really here 
to protect this structure from whatever the plant life and soil and animals and humans coming through uh, might do to mess with the hillside. But yeah, just unfiltered, that's going right down into the brook. And then the brook goes right down to Sawmill Run. You can see some biofilms. That might be detergent. Who could know? It's pretty nasty what has been left behind in the creek uh, in terms of waste trash. It's a really nice little valley when there's not poop water flying through it. So hopefully the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority or the county health department can let the residents know what's actually coming out of here because I can tell you that's much more flow than any combined sewer overflow should be doing. I mean, it was, we had a little bit of rain, maybe a quarter inch today, and that's not acceptable. That just looks like the sewer pouring into the creek. So let us know what's up. Have fun. Bye. So we've moved a little bit. Part of what's hard about dealing with this is that there's so much vegetation that it really makes you know, seeing what's going on a real issue. Uh, that, we're at the worst of it because it's September, it's high summer, it's the start of fall. Also, there's like a downed tree right here that we're looking at <laughs> with a bunch of vines and stuff growing over it. Not weed and a big stand. But yeah, down here, way back here, behind this other tree, there's the brook that that sewage water has come out and come down the valley from back up there all the way down. And we're just gonna go see kind of what the quality of that water is. So this is like a parking lot uh, at the back of the businesses here. Got your old garbage couch from Hellraiser. Got your old trash cans. And you know, just a couple of parked cars. The T-Line is right here. Uh, if you've ever smelled the bad smells going over the tea, that's where they're at. This guy's starting his car. I'm just getting out of his way. I tried to keep him off camera because, you know, he's just some guy parking. So, here is where the brook comes out. It looks pretty tranquil, so I guess whatever flow is coming off is getting... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so whatever that garbage water is, it is just going right into that forest and then I guess in heavier rains it'll make it all the way down here this is different this is some kind of change or improvement from when all the water was just leaking across the whole roadway but uh, I don't really know that it's better it seemed like there was an awful lot of weird discolored water coming out so who knows if it's really better. But anyway, this flows from here that way. And it goes out past Reflectorville Road onto the very end of Edgebrook Avenue right here. And then you can actually see it here. Oh, there's the T. Well, you could hear the T. 
here, there, and further over there, and then Sawmill Run is right here. So, you know, just directly into the creek is where this stuff goes if it goes anywhere. There's been a comment on a previous video about that I always seem like I'm out of breath. Uh, no, it's not the Olympics, but I did have heart surgery about a decade ago. And so, yeah, my respiratory system has been a little bit breathy ever since then. So, apologies, but also, no apologies. Fuck off. It's just how I breathe. Deal with it. Well, I guess I'll leave you with this Hellraiser couch. Is it two Hellraiser couches? It is. Oh, whoa, you could have a whole little hell fort. Spooky. Don't flip these over. Just, just let nature take them back. It's really... Some mysteries are better left mysterious. But not this poop lagoon. They better figure that out. <laughs>